from this day. Her Excellency, uh, Deputy Governor of Georgia County, uh, Madam Liling Go. <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, His Excellency, the Governor of Georgia County, Professor Paul Pickford. All governors and deputy governors present. Promotion comes from God. And when the Lord allowed Moses to go to sleep, he called Joshua to continue with the task and take the people of God across the river Jordan and settle them in the promised land. In his own wisdom, God allowed the deputy governor to go to sleep. And in his own wisdom, he called Lily No. Uh, Her Excellency to come and take over. So like uh, Joshua was told after Moses went to sleep is that take courage. And he was told three times, be courageous, be courageous. And as God was with Moses, so he was with Joshua. So God is with you. Promotion comes from God. Someone has said that if you educate a woman, you educate a nation. But when you educate a man, you only educate an individual. <laughs> uh, if you are lawyers, I would have used the word less if a locator. Facts speak for themselves. As you could see today, Her Excellency did not come alone. She came along with her children. And not only she came, did she come along with her children, but she allowed them to speak, meaning that she is a mother in the Green County. She has raised her children well. And therefore, we want to thank the Almighty God for giving her this opportunity to leave her mark in this county. I want to tell you a small story. I love telling stories. And this one, you may have heard it before, I love telling it. It's about a farmer who had a cow, a goat, and a hen. This farmer lived in a nice farm and he was a very happy man with one cow, one goat, and one hen. <laughs> Those who know the story are already finishing it for me. What happened one day is that the farm was attacked by a snake. And the first to notice the snake was the hen. You say hen or chicken. It depends on which two you went to. The hen was the first one to notice the snake and it ran quickly to the goat and said, Help, we are under attack. Please, I need your help. And the goat looked at the hen and said, Those are chicken issues. What have I to do with snakes? And so, the hen now ran to the, to the cow to get help and it said, Help, we have been attacked by a snake. The farm has been attacked. And the crow also said, that's none of my business. I have nothing to do with snakes. Unfortunately, that very night, the farmer was beaten by the snake and he died. And you know, a few people heard that the farmer has died. And when they got that, that evening, they had chicken for supper. The following day, when the committee was set up now to organize for the burial, there was a bigger crowd and they needed food. So they had got meat for lunch. On the final day of the burial, the crowd was so big. They needed a lot of food. So the cow was slaughtered. They had beef. So this story tells us something. We are all together in this world. When you hear something has happened to someone, don't say that's their business. We are here to help one another. And with that, uh, from her speech, I can already make the judgment that she's up to the task. Let's support her. Let us pray for her. And above all, let us support one another for we are in this world. Today.